My name is Andy uh, Tyso. I'm a dementia nurse specialist. I work at the Countess of Chester Hospital, but I also work for Cheshire West and Chester Council two days a week to enable and inspire dementia friendly and dementia inclusive communities. The group started uh, a few months ago. It's uh, for people who are affected by uh, quite a rare form of dementia called posterior cortical atrophy. Because when somebody gets a diagnosis of dementia, somebody else gets a diagnosis too, and that's the diagnosis of carer. And that carer needs full support, because if anything happens to the carer, something then inadvertently happens to the person with dementia. So we must make sure carers are supported, as well as the person with dementia, by providing activities, by providing peer support, by getting people out and about and included and feel wanted again. This is our third group meeting. Um, what we try to do is instead of just meet behind quite closed doors, is to actually get out and about. Um, one of the uh, guys um, who's on the uh, train today, his dad used to drive steam trains um, and, and he's always had that as a bit of a hobby. Um, so why not relive those moments? Um, I can remember the first time he started to tell me about when he used to go down to meet his dad and the steam and the smells of everything, which is absolutely brilliant. This is where I think Dementia friendly goes to dementia inclusive, where we can actually see dementia as a disability and start to support people with that disability, uh, as we would somebody with a wheelchair. And for companies, uh, supermarkets, East Lanks Railway, like they have done here, is to make reasonable adjustments and actually include people with dementia and not make it a special case. We get all sorts of emails about oil cameras, I'm Pam Hunt and uh, I care for my husband John. Caring for someone with dementia, well I think you know that it's not going to stay the same. You know that gradually it's going to get more difficult and I think when you first receive a diagnosis it's a shock but it's a bit like a honeymoon period because you know that life is not too far from what you knew it before but then as, as things progress it gets harder for both of you. What I've discovered is that there's a lot, there are a lot of things out there. There are carer support services run by most councils. There are admiral nurses. Uh, there are groups. But that information is not always uh, ready to hand. You know, if, if people felt when they were given a diagnosis that they were also given a, perhaps some sort of pack or some sort of contact so, so that they could find out all this information. There are so many people, I, I feel, that myself, I've accessed quite a few of these things, but I look around at carer support and I think, I'm living in quite a big town and I'm with a group of carers. There have got to be a load more carers out there than just me. And I, I think it's getting the message out there, you know, that there are things available and this is how you access them. My name is Alison Bulmer and I care for my husband who is 57 and was diagnosed with PCA at the age of 53. The North West PCA support group is an absolute lifeline as far as I'm concerned because it has two, there's two angles to it. It gives me companionship and support within a group of people who understand exactly what we're all going through. We can have a bit of a moan and a vent but it also gives my husband interaction with other people. Just a, a minimal conversation even for him is really, really important. As a carer, I'm dealing with his PCA symptoms and his depression, and I'm watching my partner, my life partner, disappearing, and it's very, very hard on all fronts.